Next we look at electron affinity and we'll start with the definition. The first electron affinity is the energy released when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of one negative ions. The first electron affinity can be represented by this equation. We have one mole of electrons and they're being added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of one negative ions. The second electron affinity corresponds to the addition of one mole of electrons to one mole of gaseous one negative ions. So here we have one mole of electrons and they're being added to one mole of gaseous one negative ions to form one mole of gaseous two negative ions. The first electron affinity of an atom has a negative value which means it's exothermic, energy is released. However, the second electron affinity has a positive value, energy is absorbed, that means it's endothermic. And the reason for this is the extra repulsion as you try to add an electron to a negative ion. Next we look at trends in the first electron affinity. So the general trend is the first electron affinity decreases down a group. Finally, we look at the reason for the trends in first electron affinity. So the increased nuclear charge down a group is offset by increased electron shielding. Electron shielding occurs when the inner electrons, for example the electrons in n equals 1 and n equals 2, shield the outer electrons in n equals 3 from the positive attraction of the nucleus. And the second reason for the decrease in electron affinity down a group the greater the distance between the nucleus and the outer energy level, the weaker the electrostatic attraction and the less energy is released when an electron is added to the atom.